The Chronic Expansion, one of the items from the Seekers of the Storm DLC, and an S tier item, according to me. We're going to be going over everything I know about this item, and some things I can almost guarantee you didn't know. And buckle up, bucko, because it's a doozy. For starters, what does this item do? Every five enemies slain grants a damage counter bonus, increasing the player's damage by 10% plus 5% per item stack, lasting as long as the player stays in combat. This is actually incorrect, and the damage is not actually 10%. It's actually only 6% at one item stack, meaning you need two chronic expansions to get just slightly over the amount of damage you would have gotten at the first stack of chronic expansion if the item worked properly. Now the second part of this, lasting as long as the player stays in combat, and combat in this context being defined as doing damage to enemies. If you are out of combat, so you haven't done any damage to enemies within 5 seconds, you will lose the buff. Now that's the general information about the chronic expansion that just about everyone knows, so let's start talking about the important stuff. Number 1, the damage increase that it gives you is based on your level 1 damage. So if you're commando with 12 damage level 1, it's going to give you 10% or 6% the accurate number of that 12 regardless of whatever level commando is increasing your stats in any way won't give any bonus to the chronic expansion so spinal sonic prayer beads etc that's a pretty big downside however the big upside is every buff of chronic expansion adds an additional one percent damage buff so having 200 stacks of chronic expansion will give you 200 percent more damage based off of your level one stat funny to anyone who remembers the beginning of the dlc where difficulty was essentially tied to fps when you start losing chronic expansion buffs, you lose them every frame. So lowering your frame rate will decrease the amount of time it takes for you to lose all your chronic expansion buffs. Okay, now that we've got most of how the item works out of the way, let me explain why I even made this video in the first place. I saw a lot of people from the tier list video, go check that out if you haven't watched it, saying that chronic expansion was like D or C tier. I found this absurd because chronic expansion is essentially a free desperado for any character that picks it up and it increases your damage for everything, not just your special ability. And also, so in my last video, ending the debate, where I was proving that Long Standing Solitude is busted, some eagle-eyed viewers noticed that when I was shooting the Imp Overlord, for some reason my chronic expansion stacks disappeared just like I was out of combat. So the rest of this video is going to cover both of those things. For starters, I'm just going to do a real quick run just using chronic expansion on Commando just to show you how you're going to be able to use this item. I'm not going to pick up any other item, I'm just going to spawn in with the chronic expansion in my inventory and complete stage 1 with no other items. Which might not sound impressive, but what I'm going to do is keep the chronic expansion buff up the whole time. It's just going to be real quick. I'm going to cut over a lot of it, but basically I got to stage three. No problem. Easy breezy. With just chronic expansion, that's it on commando. Tip number one when you're using chronic expansion, always save an enemy so you can constantly poke them and stay in combat. Again, all you have to do is shoot an enemy every five seconds and the buff will continuously stay up. Usually I keep at least one stone golem or like a buffalo or something tanky around so I can keep tapping it while I walk around. The problem a lot of commenters had with the chronic expansion in my tier list was it's unreliable unlike delicate watches which is up 100% of the time. Now obviously no one ever factors in the fact that delicate watches can be broken and they are usually broken quite often but most people don't care they just say get good so not really can't really argue against that. However, like I pointed out, you can have way more damage than a delicate watch. All you have to do is keep clicking things. You don't need Forgive Me Please. You don't need Soulbound Catalyst. You don't need Gesture of the Ground. All these other things. A lot of people thought that because I said that was a good build, that was the only reason that I put it in S tier when, no, you could just get infinite damage for free. All you have to do is click things. All right, so as you can see, stage one, super easy. The boss fight was a breeze. Honestly, I was going to end it here when I first recorded it, but I was having so much fun, I thought... Why not take it to the second stage? Then we went to the second stage, found a shrine of the mountain. So we have three beetle queens summoning beetle guards as we're a little old commando with just chronic expansion in our inventory. There's been many a time where commando has been thwarted stage one, at least my commando, by beetle queens. Because you have no AOE, the enemies just end up stacking up and you get crushed over their overwhelming husks or whatever the hell the outside of a beetle is. Chitin, I think. Anyway, absolutely blowing through this stage, I had too much fun and I decided to go to stage 3. Hopefully this shows you that Chronic Expansion is really good, you can get infinite damage for free, just pick up the item, it's great. Don't understand how anyone could ever say an item that can give you infinite damage is anything less than S tier. Of all situational items, this one is the easiest situation to find yourself in, aka shooting enemies. But the second part, and the thing that the Eagle Eye viewers noticed when I was hitting that imp, was that some enemies, for some reason, do not actually proc the chronic expansion. And by proc, I actually mean shooting them does not count as being in combat. Vine boom sound effect. After seeing one or two comments noticing this, I investigated myself and it's true. 
imp overlords, if you shoot them, does not actually count towards being in combat, at least for your chronic expansion. In other words, unless you're doing AoE damage and are hitting other enemies, including the Imp Overlord, you will inevitably lose your stacks if you keep focusing the Imp Overlord without hitting anything else. Now obviously, this is very important, because if you're using your Chronic Expansion to hopefully do more damage, and the Teleporter boss is an Imp Overlord, and you lose all your damage once you focus them, that just sucks. But... As long as you know ahead of time, you can prepare for this and start shooting other enemies while you're also focusing the Imp Overlord. And, surprise surprise, the Imp Overlord's not the only one that does this. After finding out about this bug, I went and tested a whole bunch of different enemies. Out of all the bosses, even the optional bosses like Aurelia Knight and the Allied Warship Unit, the only bosses that don't count towards the Chronic Expansion's stay in combat thing are the Imp Overlord, the Clay Dune Strider, and the Void Devastator, which is the big Void Crab boss at Teleporter events. Surprisingly, the Voidling does not have this issue. As for regular enemies, coined monsters actually, I've tested all of these and I'm fairly certain that all of these do not work with the Chronic Expansion. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if there's some hidden tag in the game that's basically annoying monsters does not work with chronic expansion. I don't know if that's like a secret hidden feature, but once you hear the list of enemies that do not work with chronic expansion, you'll understand why I say that. Ahem. For starters, gups do not work. The geeps and the gips, they don't work. Blind pests don't work. Lesser imps don't work. Larva don't work. Hermit crabs don't work. Void reavers don't work, but void jailers do, weirdly enough. Blind vermin don't work, and the ally vultures do not work. And finally, the Halcyonite Guardian does not work. I'm fairly certain that's about it, but there might be a couple that I'm missing. You can let me know in the comments if you know for certain. And by the way, just to clarify, I don't mean that if you kill these things it won't work, I just mean you can't refresh it by just tapping them with your bullets. Kills with Chronic Expansion still work with these enemies, but you can't just stay in combat by shooting them, you have to shoot a different enemy type. And it kind of sucks since most of these enemies are very annoying and can kill you very quickly if you don't focus them, so having to constantly switch between them and enemies that will actually work with this not exactly easy, let me tell you. But now that you're equipped with this knowledge, the next time you're in a game with Chronic Expansion, you have 20 plus stacks and you're about to shoot a lesser imp, make sure you shoot something else in the meantime. I'm fairly certain this is a bug, but I can't know for sure. I haven't seen this anywhere else, haven't heard anyone else talk about it, just something some commenters noticed in a video and then I later investigated. Shout out you guys, everyone out there. You're the real goats. Anyways, that's about it for Chronic Expansion. There's not really much more you need to know about it. It's solid damage. You can get infinite damage. You just have to make sure you're always tapping enemies and not the enemies that won't work with it, and you'll do fine. If you haven't seen my tier list video, go check it out. That's awesome tier list. And if you like these videos where I talk about items in greater detail, make sure to like and maybe subscribe since there's definitely more to come. Prayer beads might be next, but I might get distracted in the meantime. Anyway, this is Swag Money 69 signing out.